I absolutely, I can totally understand that one to buy it. It's just amazing. Hey, it's just not a pain that's going to be worth that. Don't we'll do it from back there. Yo. Oh, yo. All right. Well, I guess we'll start our second set. I, I didn't realize you wanted me to introduce the second set, Mark. I'm sorry. So take it away, Mark. <laughs>
ask me, what did you just play? And I, most of the time, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> My students asked me, what was that thing you played? Right there, and I went, I have no idea. <laughs> and they say, how can you do that? And I said, because when you're playing, you're playing. You're not thinking about stuff all the time. It's like you have to re be reacting, you know, or else it, it you know, that, that's always like the difference. Like when you listen to Charlie Parker play, and then you listen to everybody that came after him, they sound good, but they ain't Charlie Parker. <laughs> <laughs> because he invented it, right? See? So, you know, it's one of my little pet peeves with my students, because they're always like trying to play like everybody else. And I go, somebody already did that. <laughs> you, know, we, we, you know, you can learn from all these guys, but the whole idea is, you know, then jazz gets to be like classical music, right? And the only time you get to go see it is if it's like, it's not new or interesting or nobody put their spin on it, you know? Get my little political statement. You know? <laughs> because, I mean, I don't know if many people know about classical music, but, you know, I studied classical piano for a long time, and there's a way you have to play everything. <laughs> you play Mozart a certain way, you play Bach a certain way, you play this a certain way. That's not the way they learned how to play it, right? But now jazz is, is sort of getting that way. And it, it, it's cool about respecting the tradition and all that, but you have to, uh, in order for things to... Uh, Move on. You, you kind of have to improvise. Well, you got you got you got to take some of today and, and bring today in it too. You know? So can you reach today and yesterday together? Oh sure. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna play something right now that has a lot more of today in it. It's uh, it's a Pat Metheny tune. It's called Too Soon Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, this, this, one's, this one doesn't have a whole lot of tomorrow in it, I don't think. <laughs> I can't predict the future. <laughs>
composers out there. I'm gonna play uh, look at my watch here. I think I got like one more right here. Okay. I gotta play this uh, this really hard Bill Evans tune. <laughs> <laughs>
Not very many. Maybe eight, ten. But th these aren't solo piano CDs. These are my my band CDs of my one of my current bands, and um, uh, they played one of these tunes a lot on KPLU for a while. But Deep River, mm -hmm. I was on for a long time. They've been playing it, you know, different. Uh, Place parts of the country and stuff like that. Um, so they're fifteen dollars, and uh, that last tune was Body and Soul, and that's dedicated to this guy I used to work with a lot, Don Lanfear. And there's a lot of old in it because it's an old tune from the thirties, obviously. But also, there's a lot of John Coltrane's versions in there, and then there's a lot of other newer stuff in there. That uh, so there's there's the whole <laughs> world of jazz piano in that version of that tune. So, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.